We are 8680, Crack Opinion, and we're going to talk about our center of gravity on a robot and how we had to deal with that with our very tall four bar mechanism. So, as you can see here, to lift the cones all the way up, we have this really tall and complicated four bar mechanism, which means that we have a lot of weight really high up, and which makes us really prone to tipping over. First updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SolidWorks brings a full suite of options that are free for first teams to download, including SolidWorks Cloud Cat apps for any device with a browser, and SolidWorks for Windows where you can connect SolidWorks to the cloud for collaborating and managing data. Get it all for free at SolidWorks.com first. If you are a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. So to counteract that, as you can see, there's a big barbell-style barbell weight at the bottom of it to help keep our center of gravity nice and low so that we can stay stable while we drive around with our arm up to allow for fine adjustments of where we place the cones. And as you can see here, our robot's pretty heavy. It weighs right around 24 and a half pounds. So having that weight at the bottom really helps make sure that we remain stable and are able to contain what the robot does and have accurate control over its motion. This is a test of our robot wobbling back and forth without any weight on the bottom to improve center of gravity. As you can see, as we move back and forth, the robot likes to tip over a lot, and that can make it hard to place and makes our robot really likely to entirely tip over, which would be really bad. Here is a test of our robot with a five pound weight on the bottom to help improve the center of gravity so we don't tip over. Thanks for watching our robot in 30 hours. Make sure to check out the other video on Fun's YouTube channel. This video on first updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If you are a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Stryker. Stryker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many FIRST alumni are coming to Stryker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. SolidWorks brings a full suite of options that are free for FIRST teams to download, including SolidWorks Cloud Cat apps for any device with a browser, and SolidWorks for Windows where you can connect SolidWorks to the cloud for collaborating and managing data. Get it all for free at SolidWorks.com FIRST. Special thanks to Team 8680, Cracking Pinion for hosting Robot in 30 Hours and also to their sponsors.